Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, we're going to be installing a set of the Hellwig helper springs on the 89K1500. So we're going to have one spring on each side, and the reason that we're doing this is because um, I need to level this up a little bit. So currently, it's sitting with a full tank of fuel. We're about 35 and an eighth on the rear. And on the front, we're right at 37. Now, this truck used to sit completely level before I put my adjustable ramp gate right there. And I'm gonna see if we can't uh, get this leveled back up a little bit. There were several options. I could either go with this or I could go with some um, auxiliary airbags. This was uh, about $150. The airbags are about $350. These are good to help up to about 2,000 pounds. The install is super simple. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the uh, bracket and the U-bolts that hold the current leaf spring on. We will uh, take that off. We'll put one of these on each side put the bracket and the U-bolts back on, and then you'll have a U-bolt on each end to hold it to the uh, spring. There'll be these heavy, super heavy duty, these are about a quarter inch thick plates. Um, go just like that, and you get your attaching hardware. And there's a couple of adjustments that we can do, but I'm looking to, um, Looking to get this back up to almost to where it's equal on the front and the rear. If I if memory serves correct, I think it was like about 36 inches on each side, 35 and a half when it was level. But uh, anyway, yeah, we're gonna do that. So, all right, so I'm gonna put the uh, mower in the back and then we'll remeasure the tire. and 37 and a quarter on the front so that is um, that's unacceptable look how high the front end is okay you can kind of get a a gamut not good all right, so now that we know our baselines, let's get these uh, springs installed and see if it changes. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh yeah. No problem. All right. So I had to. Uh, <laughs> I had to borrow a 21 millimeter socket from my neighbor. Uh, I didn't have a 21 long. Anyway, so this plate right here goes there and then obviously the U-bolts are like that. So uh, what we do is we take uh, that U-bolt off, take that U-bolt off, take this plate off, and then, um, Put this helper spring, that 
like this. Now some of them, they have a long and a short side. Uh, this one doesn't, it's the same on both. And then I'm gonna take the uh, plate, put that back like that. Put this U-bolt back on. Put this U-bolt back on. Okay. And then we will take the U-bolts that Hellwig sent us and uh, put them out. Let me go grab them and I'll show you what we're going to do. Goes like that. All right, so you're going to take this uh, block and I got two nuts and two washers. It's all right to be operator here, time to time. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, so I'm just putting them on just enough to hold that. And then see if I can do this one in one shot. Okay, now, that's what we got so far. Okay, got this on. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clean this dirt out of this bracket, and uh, then we'll reassemble the bracket. These uh, nuts get torqued to 81 foot-pounds. Put it exactly back on the tube where it was being the rear differential here, the housing. That's why he's got one.
All right, so um, the factory U-bolts are torqued back down. I have adjusted this just hand tight. Um, I guess this is where a little uh, experimentation is going to come in. Uh, let me put the wheels back on, and then we're supposed to uh, put jack stands on the frame and let this droop and uh, see if there's any slack here. All right, so this is the next day, and let me just very quickly tell you what I did to adjust these. I basically uh, didn't have the second nut, lock nut on here, or jam nut, but I measured the distance from the bottom of the nut to the uh, bottom of the U-joint, not the U-joint, the threads of the U-bolt, and made them equal um, back to front and then side to side. So they're pretty much all the exact same tension. Now, here's the problem, and this is my pet peeve. Uh, I was not very happy, and uh, I even sent a, a a nice note, but a note telling Hel uh, Helwig that I did not appreciate having uh, Chinese nuts and bolts in here. So I want to show you guys something. This we've got two different wrenches here. Um, for whatever reason, some of these flutes really hard to get on there, and some of them it's really easy. Uh, there's a couple of these nuts that uh, I couldn't get either of these wrenches on. These are all 17, they're supposed to be 17 millimeter. There's 16 total nuts, and I would say almost half of them I had trouble uh, getting the either of these two wrenches, one's a gear wrench and one's a USA made craft. Um, and I thought there was something weird. I was having trouble threading a bunch of them on these U-bolts. There's nothing wrong with the threads at all. There's no damage. It's just sloppy machining. I mean, that's all it is. So I'm pretty sure that these are, this hardware is Chinese made. This is not, seem like it's american made in fact the whole kit probably is you know what isn't made in china but at least you know hellwig is a is a brand that has a lot of clout behind it as far as springs and i would say that uh it's a bad move using um this cheap hardware it's just horrible so anyway uh i'm going to uh run this i already already ran it um a little bit today the suspension feels the same, uh, unloaded as it did before. I, uh, I'm going to drive it a little bit more this week and make sure the torque on the factory U-bolts is still 81. And then I'm going to report back. I think the height right now is about half an inch taller. I could put more tension on these. You can go all the way as far as that little... Um, end of the spring right here where the lowest point is you can have that uh, a minimum of a quarter inch the tighter you make this the more resistant this the entire spring pack is to um, sagging so yeah it, it didn't seem to uh, negatively affect the ride quality at all but we'll see when it's under load and um, yeah so I'm glad I got the kit uh, I just I just this hardware you know this stuff i don't even know what grade this stuff is but yeah not a good move on their part uh we'll see if they respond back and i'll let you guys know if they do respond back but anyway everything's on nothing rattles everything's nice and quiet uh, you, you really don't even know they're back there other than there's a about a half an inch higher ride height and that's fine so uh, i will report back um maybe i'll just delay well, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and, and post the video. I'll, I'll do another video if I get um, any significant updates, either from Hellwig or from how this operates under load. But anyway, this was basically just to be uh, an install video, and uh, that's how you do it. It's very easy. If I wasn't filming, um, I would. you could do this without removing the tire, and I'd probably say uh, 30 minutes max. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you very much, and I will talk to you on the next video.